What's up, nerds, and have I got a story for you. All right, you guys, so it looks like they're making a Blade Runner sequel series. So it's, this is going to be a TV show, and it's going to star Michelle Yeoh. Now, I want to say before I get started um, on talking about this, and let me pull up this article. So there's Michelle Yeoh. This comes from Variety, the article that I read and everything. And I just want to say real quick, I love Michelle Yeoh. Oh, I forgot to mention, it's going to be on Amazon. It's going to be on Amazon Prime, and I have Amazon Prime. But I just want to say real quick, I do not like Blade Runner. <laughs> and I know, so I know some of you are freaking out on me, but I just do not like it. I, don't, I didn't like the first movie. Now, granted, the first movie, I have only watched one version of it. And I don't remember I don't remember what version of it it was, but I just know that there's like controversy of was what's his face was Harrison Ford a robot or not? And I'm all like at this point in my life I don't care I don't care if he was a robot. Um, I just know that I didn't like it. And I get friends all the time trying to get me to rewatch it, and but I just I just don't care. Now Blade Runner twenty twenty uh, what was it twenty twenty four I did not like or twenty forty nine I did not like that movie. I thought it sucked. I didn't like it, I'm not interested, I don't want any part of it, okay? The only part about this project that I absolutely love is Michelle Yeoh. I love Michelle Yeoh. I've loved her since I was young. I can't remember. I remember I was in high school, and I can't remember what movie it was, but, I mean, she was in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, but that wasn't the first movie that I saw her in. But I've loved her ever since then. And Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, I loved her in that too. But she is just great. I love Michelle Yeoh. She's so hot too. I, I don't care what you say, uh, but she's hot. And I think she's a fantastic actress. And But the problem is, is Michelle Yeoh does not put butts in the seats. And, and which is a shame because I, I'm like, as soon as somebody mentions that Michelle Yeoh is in their project, I hop over to it because I'm like, daddy wants to see it. But the thing is, a lot of the stuff that she picks, I end up not liking. Like, for instance, Star Trek Discovery, she was in that. Um, and she's going to be in, there's like a movie coming out for that. Uh, um, and I'm going to watch that and I'll review it. But I didn't like, I don't, I didn't like uh, Star Trek Discovery. And then, for instance, they have a picture in this one of her in, um, Everywhere all at once. Now, I, I don't care what you say. I didn't like Everywhere all at once. That movie was silly. I mean, you've got giant buttholes sucking in the whole universe. And you got dick fingers in there. And I didn't like that movie. I didn't like it at all. Like, when it got to, what was it, the 40-minute marker? You know where she, like, dies and everything? I thought that was the end of the movie. And then I was like, oh, shit, we have 40 minutes left of this shitty movie. I'm like, I'm ready to go. I'm like, I do not like this at all. And I don't care if Michelle Yeoh is in it. I am not having a good time at all. And the thing is, when you look at box, and granted, she did win the Oscar and everything, or did that movie win the Oscar, and it doesn't matter. Um, but I didn't like that movie. And and Michelle Yeoh doesn't bring in this, the 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 viewers. You know, um, her her one show on Netflix, the the Brothers um, Society or whatever it was called. That didn't bring in the viewers. Nobody watched that, which was a shame. It wasn't too bad. It was okay. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. You know what I'm saying? And that's my thing about Michelle Yeoh is, is maybe she just picks the wrong projects. And maybe she needs somebody to sit down and be like, hey, you know, maybe do something else. Um, but we'll see how this turns out. I, I can't promise if I'm going to see it or not because, again, I, di I watched both Blade Runner and Blade Runner 40, uh, 2049, and I don't like either one of those. So I don't know if I'm interested in this at all. I mean, I can tell you right now I'm not interested, but I don't know if I'm going to watch it. But we'll see. Um, yeah, that's that's just like my whole take on that portion of the program. So I don't, I don't know, but I love Michelle Yeoh, and good for her for getting that money, girl, um, and I appreciate you. Tell me, what do you guys think about all of this? How do you guys feel about this Blade Runner series going to Amazon? You know, is this something that you're going to watch? And how do you feel about Michelle Yeoh being the lead uh, in this show? Um, you know, like I said before, I love Michelle Yeoh. I just don't think I'm going to watch this. I, I just, I'm, I'm not interested in Blade Runner and that whole universe, so I just don't care. But we'll see how it turns out. And we'll see if anybody's interested in this, uh, you know, because I feel like not too many people were interested in that Blade Runner 2049 movie. And I don't think people are going to be interested in this you know what i'm saying all right you guys so tell me what you think about all of this you can go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below if you like this video go and hit that like button you know i won't mind if you're in my channel please hit that subscribe button i'd greatly appreciate it and i will see you guys next week you guys have a good week bye